The Furniture of the Sanctuary, Part 8, compiled by Shirley Jean Street and read by Wayne T. Street. Even the disciples could not comprehend Christ's words, and they murmured. Jesus read their thoughts and said unto them, It is the Spirit that quickens, the flesh profits nothing. The words that I speak to you, they are spirit and they are life. John 6, verse 63. His word is the true bread of which we are to eat. As the bread in the presence of God was taken out from the sanctuary and eaten, so Jesus said, The word which you hear is not mine, but the Father's which sent me. John 14, verse 24. The Bible came direct from God. God gave it to Christ. Christ signified it by his angels to the prophets, and the prophets gave it to the people. Revelation 1, verse 1. We often read the Bible as a mere form of godliness or to get something to give to others. But if we would receive its life-giving power into our own souls, we must have it hot, warm from heaven. There is no more appropriate time to let God speak to our own souls through his word than on the Sabbath day. When we lay aside our worldly cares and business and take time to study the Holy Word and let it come into our inmost heart until we hear God speak to us. The priests were not only to set the hot bread on the table on the Sabbath day, but later that same bread was to be eaten and become a part of their very being. God designed that his people should each Sabbath day gain a fresh experience in divine things, which would make them better fitted to meet the temptations of the weak. The soul that never gains a deeper experience on the Sabbath than on any other day fails to keep the Sabbath as God would have him. Ezekiel 20 verse 12. We may have a few minutes of quiet study of the word on the Sabbath day when we hear the Lord speaking to us individually. But if the words are not incorporated into our lives, they give us no abiding strength. As the priests ate the bread prepared the Sabbath before, they assimilated it and thus received strength for daily duties. Peter evidently understood this truth when he admonished the church to desire the sincere milk of the word that they might grow thereby. And he said if they did this, they would be a holy priesthood. 1 Peter 2, verses 2 to 5. Here is the secret of true Christian living. Eternal life does not come to the soul through forms and ceremonies. They are all right in their place but eternal life results from feeding on the true bread which comes from the presence of God, God's holy word, the blessed Bible. Type and Anatype Exodus 25, verse 30 Showbread was always before the Lord. John 6, verse 48 Jesus said, I am that bread of life. Leviticus 24, verse 5 there were twelve cakes of the showbread, the number of the tribes of Israel. 1 Corinthians 10, verse 17. In speaking of the church, Paul says, We, being many, are one bread and one body.